All right, today we're gonna look at the new Razer HD Gen 2 EBR7C reticle. I'm gonna check that reticle up here. It's gonna look pretty similar to, for those of you that have shot the EBR7B reticle that I actually have here in my AMG. Uh, let's get rid of this EBR7C reticle. Um, okay, so EBR7B reticle. So what you'll notice is in the center crosshair on the holdovers, the actual numbers of the mills is on the inside of the crosshair. Now, if we get rid of that, and we have a look at again at the EBR7C reticle, you'll actually see they've moved the numbers to the outside um, of that sort of Christmas tree effect we've got going. So anyway, um, let's take it out of the box and see what we're working with. Obviously, the AMG is a beautiful scope. It's a 30 millimeter tube with a 50 millimeter objective bell, um, and the razor is gonna be a little bit larger and a little bit heavier. So first of all, we're greeted with the box. I'm gonna do that so I can see also. Um, We've got some nice bookies, uh, booklets. So most men read these, kidding. Um, Team Vortex sticker, always happy. I seem to have like a lucky draw with the sticker thing. Sometimes I get stickers not. Little lens cloth, really nice packaging. The scope is gonna be really comfortable in here. I'm gonna put that there so the wind doesn't take it. And immediately you're greeted with this gorgeous burnt bronze. I'm not quite sure what they call this color but they should call it awesome because, I mean, oh, it's so heavy. Uh, let's do this and put it on top first. So immediately I can feel the weight difference and the weight difference is substantial compared to this. And this has actually got rings on it and it's got a little bubble level on that. So let's see, I've actually brought a little scale. So that's what guys do. Uh, let's see what the weight difference is. I'm just gonna weigh it with the mounts and everything on there. So this one is 1,045 grams, okay, and this one without any rings or anything on it. I'm going to go for, okay, I could actually Google the weight, but I haven't. Uh, oops, my scale went off. Show you how often I use the scale. 1,400 grams exactly. So it's significantly heavier um, than AMG. Now for us, in the precision rifle game, National Rifle League type shooting, Weight is good, as you can see here on my MDT ACC, I've got it kitted out with all the weights. Currently we have the Diamondback Tactical, which I shot last weekend. The weekend before that I shot uh, Swarovski X5, and the weekend before that I shot this. So this weekend I'll be shooting this, so it'll be the fourth weekend, fourth different scope in a row. Um, Glass-wise, let's pull off these little dust caps. This is gonna be exactly what I expect. I'm sitting here in my backyard, so I don't exactly have much to look at. I'm just looking, wow, there's some leaves blowing just out of frame here. And I've got it all the way down to four and a half. This is four and a half to 27, as you might know. Um, I'm going to be chucking them in PMR rings from Vortex, the precision match rings. I have a set of mediums and I actually have a set of highs because I'm not sure I'm going to clear this barrel um, with the medium. So we might have to grab the highs. Anyway, that's it basically for today's video. Just showing you the difference between the reticles. The weight difference is it's substantial, so it'll be interesting to see what my rifle weight goes up to. We're probably going to be pushing 24 pounds. You do get a sunshade, um, add some other bits and pieces, and a little vortex zeroing tool. So I need to wrap up this video because I need to get the sucker on and head to the range because my friend is getting me there in a half an hour. So it's going to be a record scope mounting, and um, then we'll head to the range, zero it up, and on Friday we start our, our competition. So thanks for watching. If you're on the fence about getting a new razor, hopefully this helped you. If you're not on the fence, you should get on the fence because these are awesome. Um, no, just kidding. So I've obviously shot this quite a bit. I've had this on my rifle, the AMG, for um, two years basically. And um, what this is going to give me over that is first of all, I'm going to have a little bit less magnification because I can only go down to six here. I'm going to be able to go down to four and a half here. Not that I think I'll ever use the four and a half. But I will be able to go up to 27 here and on this one I can only go to 24. Um, what else it's going to give me? I'm going to have a little bit more uh, revolutions per turn. Actually on this model I think they've made, yeah, per turn is the same because they've made the spaces slightly bigger so you can see them easier when you're indexing them. They're not so tight as on this. Um, we're going to have a little bit more travel out of the turret. And then what else we're going to get is the tube size actually has very little to do with the light transmission as we've been led to believe but what the tube size will do, I'll have a slightly wider field of view which will help with identifying targets and stuff like that um, in matches. Again, my tip for shooting matches is don't go crazy on your magnification. You wanna run in the mid range of your scope. You'll be able to find stuff a lot quicker. 
um, and you'll be able to shoot stuff quicker and get to your next position. Anyway, I'm rambling again as we always do. I'm going to pop this baby off, pop this baby on, head down to the range, which is two minutes from my house. Super convenient. Um, get some zeroing done and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hold thumbs for this weekend's match, but by the time you watch this video, the match will be in the past and you would have known what happened. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, hit the bell, like the video, share it with a friend. Just, just, just support the channel, man. Um, takes a lot of effort making these, but I enjoy it. And um, apologize again for the wind if you didn't watch the video leading up to this one. We have what is known as load shedding, and the government basically turns off your power three times a day for two and a half hours at a time because this is South Africa. But other than that, it's a wonderful place. The crime's not too bad where I stay, but um, we do have big guns here. So, uh, yeah, bye. What's with the horse thing? It's like, subscribe. <laughs> Woo! Sometimes this is fun. Should I let you guys see this? Okay. Okay, fine, you win. Okay, bye, bye.